I'm a little drunk. We're not driving. <coughs> but <coughs> we're going to do a Tesla tablet video here. Okay. People have been asking, where are all of your settings? Well, you have your factory settings, which is right here, which is quadruple eight. Hit OK. You have all of your settings, your pro call, your touch settings, color, reverse, export, import, USB, power amp, upgrade. You also have your tire pressure settings. Yes, if you have the... So, uh, you can actually buy a tire pressure monitor set up if your vehicle doesn't come with one. Has key light settings, mute settings, physical, yada yada, so on and so forth. Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection. Auto pair, yes. Good to go. Um, your app settings, which are right here. All your apps on your tablet. I don't, I don't have much on here, unlike my other versions. I needed more for less. Uh, but the one somebody was asking me about was this. Okay. Under car settings, right? The original car settings is according to the protocol box company provided to the agreement. Okay. So, we're going to go in here, search lamp, open, 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 automatic unlock, open, all. So, you actually have all your features that you normally would on your regular bullshit. Then you have your AC controls, automatic air mode, middle. I believe the AC controls would only apply to it being a Tesla tablet controlled. Like on the 14 through 17, it has the integrated AC controls, so does this, but why bother when you have your factory AC controller down here and it would look ridiculous not using it. Most of the time, we never really need to worry about this. Uh, no one, no one really uses OnStar. Front row seating air, don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Compass information. It is what it is, and that's under your car information or your car settings. You have your Android settings, which would control the operating system on your Tesla tablet and all the functions like network, connected device, so on. Volume, storage. <coughs> Under storage, it does have a 64 gigabyte built-in hard drive, which is nice. My SanDisk, USB drive corrupted, whatever. I don't even fucking use that. The portable storage is in the center console. The other one is down here. I don't even use that one anymore. <coughs> I don't really even use the USB ports anymore. Security location, Google system, under system. You definitely need to come over here to date time and under date time. You need to change your automatic time zone and select your time zone. But, see, updated to 10.0. Okay. Let's go back to that other menu, which is the factory settings. Under factory settings, we, we definitely need to go to, oops, it's not protocol settings. It's right here. Down here at the very bottom, show or hide air con. Well, hide. Okay, hide it. Show it, we'll actually bring it up to the bottom but we don't we never use it so uh, parking radar settings 
those parking radar open parking radar so I don't even know what that does but I'll open it because my sensors work regardless display reverse text off which is good speed unit settings on your miles per hour but yeah it has a bunch of settings you never even really need to worry about because the thing is see aux port uh, or ipod port i don't even it is what it is um we never really use that <coughs> because we're always on our data door information settings I never really use any of this shit, to be honest, but but it's all here. Oh, that brought my map, so. Reverse adaptive radar on, yes. Let's go reverse imaging. Reverse track adaptive. That's only if you have your reverse camera. <coughs> installed which I do have but not on right now so I'll go ahead and mess with all that when the time comes that's under your protocol this is for your CAN bus don't even mess with it go back come on that would be under your protocol settings so Reverse camera settings. See, standard HD or 360. Let's go HD. Uh, 720 at 1080 at 30. So, yeah, I'll eventually see what this does as soon as I get the backup cameras started installed mute so on and so forth I really don't mess with a whole lot of these settings at all because you don't really need to but you got your volume settings brightness navigation would show right there uh, GPS if you have it installed so on and so forth down here at the bottom radio settings and you set that to American other settings nope don't need any of those device port I don't even know what those are but whatever system information right here shows you it's a 8 core tablet at 2.5 gigahertz 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of flash ROM Android Edition 10 BNR, it's the old model. Cause I really didn't want to fuck around switching out my wiring harness. But regardless, that is the display settings. But the uh, high resolution. That's for your audio. Tells you exactly what the audio is for your tablet radio. Which is quite nice. Um, but if you install the Car Launcher Pro, I'll show you real quick. Did one video already. Come up here to the top. Under Car Launcher, you have all your settings here. Like your automated. You can pause that to read it some more. But the one you really would, <coughs> might use is to edit your themes through Car Launcher Pro or come up here again and edit your themes like select a different theme from the choices a couple of these you have, you got to pay for it is what it is it's dollar 99 audio player start music when car starts black and white album cover pop up with information songs over other programs you have your extra settings 
Warning, show GPS if disabled. Use, there you go. I don't see. Oh, so that's speedometer. Okay, but never mind. Uh, interface. <coughs> Under interface is where you go ahead and you change your unit settings from kilometers, Celsius, to miles, and Fahrenheit. Come back over here. You can change the font to whatever. Uh, gestures. But you can also, which is quite nice if you have an icon pack and you want to install it, go there and put your icons in and it will change it to whatever you want. As of right now, I'm just leaving it stock. Uh, car logo, scroll through it, won't load up because I have no internet installed, yes. Uh, that's about it for here. Then you got your screensaver. All of your speed, date, time. So if you hit this, actually hold it. There you go. You hit it once and it will unmute. Hit it again, it will mute. That's your power button. It's not really your power button for the tablet, but it is what it is. Um, when you hit this one, it will automatically go to your so on and so forth. That's about it. There really isn't a whole lot to this tablet to make it complicated at all. I don't have the radio, but you hit the radio and it shows up. You don't know anything about it. Hit your navigation and your navigation will pop up. Hit your Bluetooth. Bluetooth will pop up. Hit, hit, hit your music. If you have any on a USB drive, it will start playing. Steering wheel controls do work. See? I don't... I, I guess I have two songs on here and that's it. It actually tells you the quality, the bits. Everything. I don't know why it is what it is. That's exactly what's on the USB drive. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you. Uh, go under Bluetooth. Showed this before. Hit this. Go ahead and pair what device you want that's connected to your system. Right here's your device information so on and so forth car name you can change it to whatever uh, let's go back again you can make phone calls here if you want or you can make them from your phone and just listen to it through Bluetooth on your radio same thing with Bluetooth history you can answer phone calls straight from your car uh, music will automatically log into your cell phone when your Bluetooth is connected properly and play whatever music you're playing. Say you have Spotify, Apple Music, or even Pandora, my favorite. I have Pandora Premium and it will automatically play all your music. So you have your Bluetooth set up, you're listening to the music, you hop in your car, turns on and automatically will start playing your music. You can also control it through your steering wheel, which is right here, which is nice. <coughs> um, guess that's about it, really. Up here, just just like normal, swipe, swipe, uh, swipe down. <coughs> Once you get your tablet installed, they've cleaned this up quite a bit. So come here, swipe down, hit car amplifier, and it will automatically fire up your system and run it. Hotspot, yes. Hotspot will run if you have a Bluetooth, no, if you have a micro SD chip in your system that has a data package only 
for your tablet radio. Say you have Bluetooth. No, say sorry. Say you have a micro SD chip installed into your your tablet radio in the back, which is an option you can do. It will give you 4G Wi-Fi throughout your vehicle when you have this turned on, which is nice. Very simple, very easy. Hotspot password probably wouldn't have any. You could change in the hotspot name if you want, so on and so forth, just like your cell phone. Uh, everything else is pretty well self explanatory. If you have an Android phone, you know how to run it. It will also tell you how many gigabytes of Wi Fi data you're using. Yes, SIM cards. Yeah. Oops, let's, oops, let's get a SIM card. Under SIM card, there are no SIM cards. Yes, so if you have a SIM card, you can use your SIM card to run it on your tablet. As I said before, uh, Walmart has it, T Mobile has it, Verizon does not. I don't think ATT or Sprint has <coughs> a SIM card for the Tesla tablet because the number isn't connected down here at the bottom you need to go about it's this number right here <coughs> holy shit okay did not know this you have multiple sim slots on the new tablet did not know that because I don't really use it but you can't have a personal telephone number for this too isn't that some shit you have your I M E I number for all that cool shit IP address Bluetooth so on and so forth yeah It's pretty well self-explanatory. If you know Google, if you know Android, you should know this tablet pretty well. And I've also explained a lot about the extras. So you guys can get an idea of how everything is in the tablet. Each display on Car Launcher Pro is set up differently. So find which one works best for you and make sure you go over here to your settings under settings you need to go to interface and go to your, your car logo and set your car logo if you want that's just crap I I literally don't understand what this is but I don't use it I just keep it under my right here car logo for Buick See Buick, but you can swipe up and change it. Notifications, Buick. Same thing for this menu. Speedometer, time, navigation. That's if you have your navigation GPS enabled, and I don't. I don't really care. I probably should install it on this one. It's in my garage. <laughs> 